This is on solving systems of nonlinear equations using the intersect method on T84 plus calculator. So let's take a look at our first problem. We've got y is equal to x squared minus 2 and y is equal to 3x minus 4. Okay. <clears throat> This method works well on your calculator if you can easily get y by itself. Um, easily. That's kind of a vague uh, uh, idea. Um, if you got y to an odd power, then it's uh, easy to get y by itself. If you got y squared or y to an even power, then this method does not work well and you should just do it by hand. Well, if I go to y equals. If I have something on Y1, I'll press clear, and then I'll down arrow, press clear on Y2 if you have something there. We're going to put our first equation on Y1, second equation on Y2. So we're going to have X squared minus 2, down arrow, and then I'll put in 3X minus 4. Now, our answers are going to be where the graphs intersect. So if I press graph, let's see if uh, we can see where they intersect on the screen. Looks like somewhere right in here, but I really can't tell what's going on with this. Let me do some zooming, see it better. I'll press my zoom, and I'm going to choose Z box. So this first one's already highlighted, so I press enter on it. <clears throat> and I'll go up to, I don't know, about right there maybe. Press enter. And then I'll go down. If you haven't watched the video on zooming yet, you ought to do that so you can know, know exactly what we're doing. And uh, once I get down to my lower right-hand corner, I'll press enter on it. <clears throat> it looks like I have an answer here. It looks like it intersects, and then they also intersect right up here. So it looks like two answers there. Well, I'm going to do a second trace and choose the intersect, the fifth one. I'll do enter on first curve, enter on second curve. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to move my cursor over closer to the first intersection, which is maybe about right there. Doesn't have to be right on top of it, just somewhere close to it. And then you press enter. And it tells us our first intersection is 1, negative 1. So that's our first answer. Now for our second one, I'm going to do second trace, choose intersect, enter our first curve, enter our second curve, and I'll do my right arrow key. Move it closer over here, the one we're trying to find. It's got to be somewhere right up in here. And then I'll press enter. And it tells us our second one is 2, 2. Those are the values that cause these system equations, nonlinear equations, uh, to be true. If I put 1 in for x, uh, that should give me a negative 1 in both of these. If I put 2 in for x, then that'll give me a, a positive 2 for the y values. Let's look at another example. This one's going to show a flaw with it, I think. y is equal to x squared minus 2, and y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. Notice the y's are by themselves, so this is perfect for the calculator. Now I'm going to do a zoom and choose 6 for z standard, set back my, my standard viewing window. Now I go to y equals, I'll press clear, clean that out, clear to clean that out. Now the first equation I'm going to put on y1, so I got x squared minus 2. Now down there to y2, and I'll put in a negative x squared plus 4. Let's just graph this and see what we can see. Okay, well, looks like there's two intersection points here. So I'm going to do a second trace and choose intersect. And I press enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and I'll move my left arrow key to move my cursor over closer to that first intersection where they're both crossing. That's good there, I guess. So I'll press enter. Okay, so we get um, our first answer. Negative one point, I'll take it two decimal places. Negative one point seven three, comma, one. Question becomes if I can change that x value um, to a fraction. Well, it, it's stored in x, so I'm going to x it out. I'll do second mode, 
and I'll press my X key, math, enter, enter. Doesn't change. Um, so that's no good. We got another answer. So I do second trace, choose intersect, enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and I'll do my right arrow key to move my flashing cursor over closer to this answer where they intersect. So about right there. Press enter on it. And looks like we get a positive version of the 1.73, comma, and then 1. Well, I don't need to try it. That's not going to change to a fraction. If the negative 1.73 won't, then the positive 1.73 won't. Um, this is as good as it gets in terms of using the intersect method. Now, if I did these by hand, y is equal to x squared minus 2, and y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. Different ways you could solve these. Um, let me show you substitution. With substitution, uh, I'm going to pick one of the equations. I'll go through my steps. You pick one of the equations and you solve for one of the variables. Doesn't matter which one. Let me pick the second equation. So I got y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. Well, this is easy because this is already solved for y, so that's done. Step two is to plug that into your other equation. So we're going to plug that into y is equal to x squared minus 2. Now we just set up here that y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. So we're going to replace the y here with negative x squared plus 4. And now we want to solve this. So I'm going to get all the x squareds on one side and numbers on the other. Like that. Uh, remember when you take anything across v equals your sign changes, so negative 2 becomes a positive 2, and the negative x squared becomes a positive x squared. So we've got a 4 plus 2 is 6, and x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. We'll divide both sides by 2. We're trying to get the x squared by itself, and we get x squared is equal to 3. Um, now, the, we're going to use square root property. Um, I guess that is square root of 3, isn't it? I was looking at that, I was thinking of something else. But, uh, square root property says if you got something squared equal to something else, you drop your squared and you put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Step 3. We're then going to take those values, the negative square root of 3 and the positive square root of 3, and we're going to plug it into the equation from step 1. So we've got y is equal to negative square root of 3 squared uh, plus 4, and we'll have y is equal to uh, negative, that's a negative, should be a negative square root of 3, and this is a positive square root of 3 squared plus 4. Well, um, negative square becomes positive, and the square root and the second power cancel. So that gives us negative 3 plus 4, which gives us 1. So this answer is negative square root of 3, 1. And this answer, square root of 3, second power, cancels again. You get negative 3 plus 4, which gives us a positive 1. So this answer would be square root of 3, comma 1. reason why they would not change the fraction is because they were actually um, uh, radical answers. Uh, so you can see there's a little bit of a flaw by using the intersect method. You, you don't get the exact values that you'd get if you did it by hand. But that's um, solving uh, nonlinear system equations uh, using the T84 plus calculator.